10 members of this family managed to escape unharmed on Monday night when a storm laid waste to the area. Heavy rains left a trail of destruction, killing hundreds of people and injuring scores more. Locals at Jelimnyama, Meren Hill and Gwandingezi have been left to pick up the pieces. Neighbors Kosi Kuzwayo and Noglunga Lamini were left homeless. They are forced to stay with relatives after their houses were completely destroyed. I lost three rooms. All my furniture and food have been destroyed. We are getting food from our neighbours. My priority is to get shelter. We are asking for the Good Samaritans to help us. When the house started moving, I grabbed my children and we ran away. A few minutes after we jumped out of the house, it started falling down. I managed to take the ID and birth certificates of my children. Assessing the extent of the damage, Etewin Municipality Mayor Mkoli Sikaunda reiterated the President's message that all those affected by the floods will be assisted. He has again called on the affected communities to be patient as government rolls out assistance. Let us work together instead of listening to organizations on the ground which are mobilizing people to protest and that protest on its own does not assist us to deliver because it makes us uh, to, to be unable to deliver to those uh, commitments that we have made because our electricity teams need to zoom into those areas where there are challenges and fix our electricity that have been damaged and fix our water pipes. So once you block the road, you are actually sending a message that you don't need help. Meanwhile, affected communities continue to scramble for water. City engineers are hard at work trying to rebuild the reservoirs and water treatment plants that were destroyed. Vusi Kumalo, SAPC News, Durban.